tall centerpieces on trend, long farm tables or feasting tables on trend. Combining the two with an elongated arrangement, easy and fun when you know how to do it. Let's get started. Choosing the materials started with GardenRosesDirect.com. I picked two roses that I absolutely love. Purity, which opens out beautifully, and the Spray Rose Blanche, which gives me a little contrast within the white palette. For the rest, looking to the Pantone color of the year, very Perry, and adding in Hydrangea and Delphinium. Lastly, a bit of Heather for elongation. The mechanics, a beautiful tall ceramic vessel, but I'm not going to design into it. I want to elevate. So using a six inch design tray with floral foam anchored in place, I use the Oasis Midnight Black for its enhanced compostability. For delivery, we'll want to take it and set it down. So I'm not going to secure it. In reality, once it is delivered and you're going to leave it on site, use a U-glue strip right around the neck and then place this on. That way it will be quite secure. Foliage, starting with a single stem. The Italian Ruscus, give it a cut, then place it in at a strong angle, wrapping and continuing to wrap, covering your mechanics so quickly. Secure it in place by just folding it over on itself and then using a single greening pin, lock that into the foam. Additionally, you can take more, give it a cut and extend it. The Italian Ruscus gives you great line and movement and another. Then staying on trend with a bit of eucalyptus. The blue-gray hue is fabulous. And the larger broadleaf, a fatsia, helps to break the line and add weight to the base. To continue the elongation, adding in branches. Quince is perfect for the spring season, giving it a cut. A pruner is good. Paring it down. And then following the same lines already established. And repeating on the opposite side. Clipping it. Finding the perfect hole. Then bringing in Heather for wonderful texture, contrast, letting it come out to the sides, and repeating, and then adding a few more branches and a bit more Heather. With the line and the form established, it's time to add the fun and build the focal emphasis. Placing in hydrangea, removing their leaves, giving it a cut and keeping it low so it's close to the foam. That way it will stay fresh and beautiful for as long as possible. Bringing it around to the back side as well. Carrying the blue from the vase upwards, then coming in with the roses. The purity is so beautiful. Giving it a cut, letting it come up but to the front and then pulling it up through the center and of course all the way around to the back side so that it is a two-sided centerpiece and then bringing it out to the sides and filling in to finish adding the contrast of the Blanche Spray Roses, getting variation on the white hue, tucking it in low, then coming back, extending that beautiful Pantone Very Peri 
with a bit of the delphinium coming out to the sides and then repeating to balance from right to left. The recipe, I used half a bunch of the eucalyptus, three of the batsia leaves, three stems of the Italian ruscus, then half a bunch of the quince. For the base, two hydrangeas, six delphinium, and half a bunch of heather. Then, from GardenRosesDirect.com, 12 of the beautiful purity roses and six of the blanche spray rose. Wedding season promises to be huge this year. For more creative inspiration, you'll find it at our website, flowerschool.com. But now, it's your turn. What are you going to create? Maybe elongated? Definitely with garden roses. Be sure to take a picture of your design, post it on social media, and hashtag Floral Design Institute. That way we all can see what you do as you do something you love.